Hello everyone. Welcome to Partshala. Now in this video, we will see what is meant by confusion matrix, why it is required, and how to calculate precision recall F1 score from this confusion matrix. So let's start with uh, the example that we have already created. So we have created a simple RNN to identify uh, the whether given piece of text is positive or negative. For that we have used IMDB data set. So model will look like this. So we have created a sequential model. First is embedding layer. Then we have three simple RNN layers. And finally we have dense layer with one neuron. So this neuron is sufficient to identify whether given piece of text is positive or negative. We have used activation function as sigmoid. Now after that we have compiled our model and with model.fit we have trained our model on train x and train y. We have used matrix is equal to accuracy while compiling our model. That's why during training we are getting accuracy and loss for the training example as well as for the validation data. So this accuracy is very much important to evaluate our model. But sometimes it will provide us false result where we are having imbalanced number of training example for each class. So let me explain this quickly with uh, one simple example. Suppose we have sentiment analysis model and for the sentiment analysis model we have 10,000 positive reviews while only two or three reviews are negative. Now if we are uh, testing this model with such kind of data then accuracy will be always high even though these two values are misclassified okay so in such cases our model is not working correctly as per our expectation though its accuracy is quite large so we need to use some of the other parameters to evaluate our model and for that we have confusion matrix so confusion matrix is actually a tabular information that is used to evaluate our model on the testing or the validation data set. So this table includes true labels and predicted values. So we have true labels as positive and negative that is 1 and 0 true label. Okay. And here we have predicted labels 0 and 1. Okay, so if we are passing the positive reviews, then our model is also identifying those reviews as positive one. So that uh, re those reviews are represented by this particular box. Okay, so this is called as true positive. At the same time, if we are passing negative reviews to our model, then our model is also identifying that those reviews are negative. So this particular box is called as true negative. Okay. Now, if we are passing positive reviews, then some of the reviews are misclassified. Okay. So these reviews are called as false negative okay so these reviews are falsely identified as negative even though these reviews are positive on the similar line if we are passing some of the negative reviews then our model will identify that these reviews are positive one so such kind of reviews are called as false positive these reviews are falsely identified as positive even though these reviews are actually negative okay so these terms are basically used to evaluate our model okay so we can identify what is meant by precision recall and f1 score from these terminologies so what is meant by precision 
precision is equal to tp that is true positive divided by true positive plus we have false positive okay so this is precision and uh, recall means what again we have a formula true positive divided by true positive plus false negative if we observe then uh, everything is same just there is a difference with this term okay false positive means what we have identified or we have predicted the output in the wrong way originally it is negative but we have identified that as a positive on the other hand this fn that is false negative is indicating originally it is positive but we have wrongly classified as it as it is negative okay so uh, precision and recall these are the two important terms to evaluate your model so we are going to increase precision in some of the model we are going to increase recall in some of the model so based on the application we have to decide whether we are going to increase the precision or whether we are going to uh, increase the recall if we are trying to increase the precision then there is a decrease in the recall if we are trying to increase recall then there is decrease in precision okay so let's take one example uh, to understand where precision is required now we have to develop a model to classify whether the video is useful or safe for the, uh, the child watching or not okay so in this case precision is quite important one okay so if one particular video is not safe for this uh, child but if it is misclassified as uh, it is uh, safe for the user that is false positive then we will face some consequences let's take one example for now recall so in recall okay suppose we want to identify whether particular person is suffering from the disease or not actually he is suffering from the dis uh, disease but our model has predicted that he is not suffering from the disease that is fn false negative so in this case that particular person will face the consequences at the end because we have misclassified this particular person as not positive for that particular disease okay so precision value and recall value uh, are there those are calculated with this formula but based on our application usage we have to decide whether we go we should go for precision or whether we should go for recall now there is a trade-off okay so if we are trying to increase precision there then there is decrease in the uh, recall and vice versa so we need another term that will take care of these two terms to provide one single value to evaluate our model and for that we have f1 score so f1 score is actually a mean so basically it is harmonic mean okay so two variables are there precision and recall so by combining these two variables it is just identifying the harmonic mean for the uh, model and according to that we can evaluate our model so formula is 2 into precision into recall divided by precision plus recall this particular formula will give us the f1 score as far as possible we have to increase this value f1 score okay 
so let's check out in code how we can develop this uh, confusion matrix and how to calculate precision recall f1 score for the example okay so we are going to use predict method and we have passed test x now for text test x examples we ha we have predicted the values from our model now if the predicted value is greater than 0.5 then we are appending one in the predict underscore value numpy array and on the other hand if value is less than 0.5 then or 0.5 then we are appending zero okay so we have imported confusion matrix method from sklearn.matrix module we are going to pass the actual value and the predicted value by our model now this will provide us the confusion matrix now it is just the matter of uh, displaying uh, this in the heat map okay so for that we have used seaborn seaborn as sns so we have used sns dot heat map method and uh, here we have passed our confusion matrix annotation is true and we want to represent it with the blue color intensity is represented by the blue color and finally we will get uh, the matrix like this so in order to have more accurate result we have we should have greater values for this quadrant this particular box and this particular box now we have calculated the confusion matrix now we want to identify classification report again we have imported classification report method from the sklearn.matrix module and uh, we have used test y and predicted value for it we have passed those parameters to the classification under report method and we will get precision recall f1 score for our model support support means what those many number of examples are there in that class if we take the addition of this 33329168 then it will be 12500 and if we take addition of 10265 plus 2235 then we will get this addition 12500 okay so support means how many training examples are there in that class since these are the true labels we have to perform the addition in the horizontal direction okay so this is all about a confusion matrix precision recall f1 score we can take another example so we have used a fashion mnist data set for identifying the fashion products then uh, that fashion product is passed to this small convolutional neural network and we are predicting which particular fashion product is this okay so again we have used matrix as accuracy that's why we are getting uh, the accuracy for training as well as for the validation data okay now here here if we are uh, checking out uh, the heat map then there will be 0 to 9 values present on the y axis and 0 to 9 values present on the x axis so this 0 to 9 are indicating the product for example 0 is representing the t-shirt top 1 is representing trouser 3 is representing coat and so on okay so here these are the true labels okay and uh, these are the predicted values so if we observe we have converted output in the one hot encoding okay so one hot encoding means what only one value will be on rest of the values will be off to represent that product okay so size of an array will be 10 from 0 to 9 and if this is t-shirt then first value will be on rest of the elements are zero so these zero 
are corresponding to the remaining classes this one corresponds to the t-shirt okay so we have converted that uh, for identifying the class okay so we what we have done we have used again predict method on x underscore test we have predicted those values okay now from this predicted value we want to uh, check the uh, maximum value available inside that array okay so since this first value is on output will be zero due to this np dot argmax whichever the index is having the larger value that index will be written by np dot argmax same is applied to the true labels also okay so now we have uh, true labels as rounded underscore label and predicted labels as rounded underscore predicted underscore labels now just use these two for identifying the confusion matrix we have used confusion matrix method and we have passed these two parameters so at the end we got the confusion matrix and we have just passed that to heat map of the c bond okay so we are getting this particular matrix so here if we are uh, thinking what is 9 9 is actually the ankle boot okay so these are the images so these images are misclassified 10 times with five five is actually sender yes so there is a, a close relationship between uh, the images of sandal and ankle boot that's why we are getting quite large result uh, quite bad result over here so seven is sneaker and the ankle boot again 76 images are there whose actual label is ankle boot but uh, we have wrongly classified as the sneakers okay so uh, this is actually the misclassification uh, for uh, the ankle boot okay if we try to identify precision and recall then uh, we have to again use classification underscore report method from sklearn dot matrix module we have passed rounded labels and uh, rounded predicted labels to it and uh, we will get the precision recall f1 score and support for uh, the tested data set so this is all about uh, the precision recall f1 score and the confusion matrix okay thank you for watching the video